Teaching your dog to do scent work is nothing but positive for your dog. You don't know how many dogs, just about every dog I deal with, it isn't, it isn't using its nose. It, it, looks, it looks for stuff. There's like this visual stimulation and it causes problems. You take your dog outside and starts looking around for other dogs, getting excited. It's, it's not normal. You want your dog to be looking with its nose. Scenting is your dog's number one sense. It isn't eyesight like us. So teaching your dog to do this is a, is, is a fun activity for the dog. They love doing it. And if your dog knows, has basic skills of retrieving or say you've taught it whoa or sit, you can teach the dog to alert where the object is by either retrieving it or teaching the dog when it finds it, it can sit in front of it or it can be in the whoa position like a pointer. And it's, it's not difficult. If you've spent the time to train your dog, teaching your dog to use its nose is so beneficial. Now, when you first start doing it, you make it real easy for the dog to do. And one of the first things that I'll do is a blind retrieve. So this area has been used several times, like going up this field this way. We've done reverse retrieves out here. We've done the dummy launcher out here. So the dog has this association with something positive in this area going in this direction in the field. So if you take the object that you want the dog to find, you can put it out in a field and send the dog on its way. And because of muscle memory, it hightails it out there and it sees something to get success. So it's not used to doing that. Also, before you do this, you might even want to take it, take the object, put it in your backyard somewhere and give it, give the dog the hunt em up command and really steer the dog into the object that it knows is something fun. And in this case, we're using pheasant wings, but we could use any object that the dog associates with something good. It could be a dumbbell, it could be a, uh, it could be a bumper, it could be anything that the dog retrieves. And that way, when the dog sees it and you start this hunt them up, find it, find it, you have a tone like that with the dog and you steer the dog into it. And then, oh, look, there it is. You know, it picks it up, puts it in its mouth and starts figuring out that this is a game. It's totally different than doing a retrieve. With a retrieve, the dog is, is seeing it. It's, it's called a marked retrieve. So if you throw something and it sees it and it retrieves it, that's called a marked retrieve. In this case, the dog doesn't see it, but because of muscle memory and the area that you're doing it in, the dog will start picking it up as if there's something out there. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Now, with this said, I've already done on my porch, I've already done this, like taken like a wing and, and a dumbbell with a wing on it, or sometimes I use bird scent. There's commercial bird scent you can buy. You could use vanilla, you could use anything. The smell of a tennis ball, they have a certain smell. So I've already had this and, and what I'll do is like say I use my porch, I put a wing out there. I go get, the, you notice there's no dog with me right now. There's no dog. I go put a wing on my porch, like sort of hide it, but not make it, not make it difficult. And then I open the door and right when I say, right when I open the door, I had the dog sit. And I say, hunt them up. And I give them a direction like this, like, hunt them up. There's a little bit of wind out here. It really doesn't, wouldn't matter. It's such a small area. Bowser will probably find this right away. So I'm just going to throw it over there by this. And then I'm going to go get Bowser. I'm not going to even walk out into this area. I'm going to stay by the door. I'm going to say, hunt them up. And then if, if he doesn't come back, I'll come look for him. Here. There you go. Good job, dude. Good job, man. Here, heel. Good. Drop. No, drop. That was good. We'll do it with Marty this time. Same place. No, oh, Bowser, here, heel. Come on. Here. Come on, Bowser. Hunt him up. 
up, Marty, go! Set it up! You got it, dude! There you go! Little man! Come on, buddy! Here! Good job! And then they go find it, and then they get success. So each dog that's coming out here, which is Bowser and Marty, they've already had this preliminary work with Hunt them Up. Marty can find weed at this point, and that's another thing. You, you can use any scent, and that's one of the scents that I've, I've uh, trained Marty to find. So Marty, I, I, I did this right here yesterday, and the dog hauls ass. As soon as I say Hunt them Up, he's gonna go get every one of these objects with no problem. Another thing that's sort of positive right now is that there's snow on the ground, so they're gonna they're gonna sort of see this. Now, it's not totally obvious because there's it's patchy. There's there's like you know there's there's like a little grass showing and everything, so it's not it's not totally easy. But because of that muscle memory, they're gonna go out in that direction and find it. Now, this is important. Now, let's, let's use Bowser for an example. Yesterday, when I did it with Marty, he went right out there and got it, no problem. Bam, 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 picked up all three. Bowser had the first two, no problem. But with the third, it was farther out and it was confusing him. It's totally normal. You might have to walk the dog out there and help the dog do it. If you had to bring the dog back to heel, send him on his way again, get him straight, get him going forward, do it. You don't want to make it hard at first. You don't do that. If you want the dog to find an object, you make it super simple at first and you take it real slow. Don't go fast. Do not hide the object real difficult because you know what? Your dog is going to get confused and not have any idea what's going on. Take it real slow and use use the tone, you know, hunt them up. Where is it? Where is it? Hunt it up and keep going. And you might have to, and th this, is a, this is a fact, with, with a lot of dogs, I'll put a leash on the dog. I'll take the dog right over to where the object is and I'll start doing that. Like I walk out the door with the dog on a leash and going, hunt them up, hunt them up. And I'll take the dog right over there. And then when he puts it in the mouth, it's good boy, good boy. You found it. You found it. Some kind of tone like that. So I'm going to put these out in the field, and then I'll go get, we'll, 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 go, we'll go get uh, Bowser first, and then we'll get Marty. Now they're out there, they're, they're all kind of spaced out evenly. They're all out there, they're all spaced out pretty evenly. And I cannot express this enough. You do not want to make it difficult for the dog at first. It wouldn't matter if there was grass. It doesn't matter if there's snow because the dog's muscle memory, it's built up. So no, no matter what I do at this point, if I'm standing here and I have a dog, next, one of these dogs next to me, and I send them on their way, they're going to go straight. And that's what you want. Now, I'm not saying we're always going to do it like this, but you do this for a period of time. Like I'll do this today, tomorrow, and then I'll come out here and I'll, I'll put out the, the wings just randomly. And because that, the dog has had the muscle memory and the, the, the hearing of me saying the command, they're really going to be jazzed up. They know that they're going to get success. They know that there's something out there and they'll keep looking for it. Let me go get Bowser. Okay, I got the Bowser with me, so I'm gonna put him at sit and send him on his way. Here, no! Heel, he was taken off after him. Get a heel, dude. Come on, let's go, Bowser. Get over here to heel. Sit. Hunt him up. Here. 
Come on, buddy, heal. Yeah. Sit. Drop. Hunt him up. Good boy, buddy, here. Here. Drop. No, I'm drop. Sit. Hunt him up. Good boy, here. Here. Come on. Good boy, buddy. Heel. Sit. Nice. Okay, drop. Hunt him up. No. All right, bring it over here. Here. Heel. No, heel. Sit. Drop. Bouncer. Put him up. You got it. You got it. It's about 500 feet away. Bouncer, here. Here. Let's go, dude. Come on, buddy. Nice job, man. Heel. Sit. Drop. That was good. Good job. So that was very successful. So I'll go get Marty, and Marty will do it next. And then after Marty, then I'll just put him out here randomly. And it won't be in a line, so it'll be much more difficult. And I might have to give the dog some direction, casting or whatever, but I guarantee you they'll, they'll find him. We won't leave until they find him. If I have to walk the dogs up to that, he's going out there. Hey, Fouse, it's over, dude. Heel. See, he's into it. He's into it. He thinks there's another object out there for him. It's exactly what I want to see. I, want to, I don't really want him to do that, but knowing that he just did that, I know he knows there's something in this field for him. Also, on the last one, he went over to the side over here. There's sort of like a, a tuft of grass. That's exactly where I'm going to put one. Exactly. Right, Bows? Good job, man. Sit. That's very good. Heel. I have Marty with me, and one thing that's uh, noteworthy is that it's raining and there's no wind. It makes it harder for him to get in the scent cone. So if you're going to work your dog and, and they just start doing this, pay attention to where the wind is blowing. So remember that. If the, if, if, if the wind is blowing in the opposite direction, you have to, like, the dog has to go up and get into the scent cone. See what I'm saying? So just pay attention to where the wind's blowing. There is no wind. But, but Marty's, Marty, you're going to find this shit, right? He says he's going to find it. He is. He, the, the wings are already out there. So you can see them. Let me put Marty down on the ground. Actually, Marty, you can get down yourself. You can, can't you? Marty, come here. Here. Marty, here. Heel. There you go. Heel. Come on, buddy. Same, same thing as Bowser. Let me put the camera down. It's the same routine as with Bowser. I'm going to have him sit, and then I'm going to send him on his way. And each time he comes, he has to bring it back, bring it to heel, and then I'll send him again. Here, heel. Sit. Put him up. He's fast. Hold. Here. You got this, dude. Good job, man. Little band. Hold. You got it. Hold. No, hold. Here. 
Hold. Get it heel. No, heel. Sit. Hold. Drop. Put him up. The wings are wet. Hold. You got it? Bring it on, dude. You got this, man. Here. Come on, buddy. Get a heel. No, heel. Sit. No, sit. Hunt it up. Back. Hold. You got it, dude. Here. Come on, buddy, you did it. Hang on, you got one more out there, though. No, hold. Heel. Come on, heel. Get over here, heel. No, hold. Heel. Hold. Bring it over here right now. Hold. Sit. No, drop. Sit. No, sit. We have a little bit of an issue here that the wings are wet. These are dehydrated, so they're, they're becoming hydrated, so they're mouthing these. This isn't a problem. We got one more wing, and we're going to have uh, Marty do this. It's, it's really not an issue, but... No! Marty, here! Here, heel! He's a cheater. Hang on. Marty, sit. No, sit. Back! Back! No, Marty, back! Marty, no! Marty, back! No, back! Sit! Marty, sit! Back! Back! No! Sit! No, sit! Back! No, back! over here. Get over here. Heel. Get a heel. All right, put him up. No, back. Man, get over here right now. Marty, put him up. No, back. No, sit. Sit. Marty, back. No, sit. No, back. No, sit. Back. No, back. Got it, hold. There you go, good job. Come on, buddy. You got it, you got it, good job, dude. Come on, here. Come on, buddy. You're good, dude. You did it, good job. Come here, buddy, here. Here, come here, good job. Good job. Now, in Marty's defense, it's raining, there's no wind, and he was doing it the same distance that Bowser did it, about 500 feet. He had trouble on the last one. This is not a problem. And it really wasn't a problem because one, I backcast him and he got it. It doesn't matter if your dog gives you a refusal or the dog is confused. Just get the dog to be compliant. Next time we come out here, 
it won't be a problem. So with Marty, we might come out here and, and just do like the last two, just to get him going a little bit farther out. This is a, a nine pound dog. He's tiny. He's a fraction of the size of Bowser. That'd be like Bowser doing the distance to the end of the other field. Do you see what I'm saying? That was awesome. Good job, Marty. Sit. He's good. He's good. Good boy. You did good. 